Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Wilcox from the Wilcox Eye Center, and I want to introduce to you Leslie, and Leslie has some interesting findings uh, that are related to her central nervous system in her eyes. And the story goes, she's in here, Leslie having had LASIK some years ago, and an annual follow-up, maybe we haven't seen her in a couple years, and to just check up things, her eyes were fine. And then you know, I think he even said, oh, you're boring, everything's great, it's about time to go. But I do need to look in the back of your eyes, as we do during the exam. And I looked in the back of her eyes and I said, hmm, are you having headaches? And she looked at me and said, why, yes, and why would you know, or how do you know? And I looked into her eyes and I, again, and she has swollen optic nerves. And there's, there's obvious cases of what's called papilledema, and then subtle cases. And when I looked in the back of her eyes, their optic nerves were a little bit swollen, and, and I um, asked her about her headaches. And she said that, in fact, she had recently been di diagnosed with a, uh, a, a pro problem in her brain where the brain and the spinal cord come together, where they meet, rather. There was a malformation there, and they had been pursuing that recently. And that is where her problem lied, um, because there's a plumbing problem and the fluid's not moving around there. So the, the brain and, uh, is, the eye is actually part of the brain, and when there's increased pressure in the brain, it pushes the optic nerve forward, and we see that in the form of papilledema, where both eyes, the optic nerves are a little swollen. So I was asking her about that, and we pursued the, uh, the logical thing to do, which was send her off to uh, a retinologist, excuse me, a neurologist, who performed this, uh, a, a test of her brain to see what the pressure was and her pressures were elevated. Backing up, I did in the back of the eye take some photographs to document what was going on in the eyes. I can see in the back of the eyes in many different ways, but you take a photograph today so that you can look at it tomorrow to see if there's an improvement. The other thing I did was we used the OCT, which is kind of like a laser that scans the back of the eye, and that's for diagnosis and for management as well. And you can see by the OCT that there's some elevations that are going on at our optic nerves. And when they had released the pressure after our visit by using a spinal tap, and they, the, the pressure came down in the brain, the pressure came down in the eyes, and her vision is much improved. Now, with pseudotumor, or the increased pressure, the problem that Leslie also had was she carried too much weight. And being overweight, there's a, a pseudotumor is frequently found in uh, females who are overweight, and she had done what most people say they want to do, but they don't have the gumption to do it, and she lost a bunch of weight. So the procedure of re removing the pressure is a temporary one, because the pressure will go back up. And we applaud Leslie, because she did the right thing, and she lost a bunch of weight. And maybe the best thing that came out of this was, I got a bottle of wine out of the deal, and if she really loved us, I think we needed another bottle of wine coming out here. Mm -hmm. But you'll enjoy Leslie's story. We use the technology. Patients, when you go to the doctors, things do matter. The eye bone is connected to the knee bone, and uh, the, those things are important, and we're glad that we can help Leslie, and we're looking forward to helping you out as well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Leslie, and um, I actually was diagnosed with Chiari malformation in September of 2011, and it is basically a brain malformation that causes lots of problems. and in December or so, I started having frontal headaches and my eyes were kind of being weird so I decided to come in and see Dr. Wilcox and he took some pictures and saw that I had papilledema which is swelling of the optic nerves and basically told me that I needed to lose weight so and that it happens in a lot of women my age that are overweight and I did that and also had a spinal tap done which released some fluid and some pressure and I have now lost 45 pounds and I have, my eyes are better, my swelling has been down and it's thanks to him and his staff and his equipment and technology that, and education that he has 
and I thank him tons.